Welcome to install day one. We've already done our meet and greet with the customers, checked out our locations where the elevator should be placed, and now next thing is to verify our measurements and location before we start digging into it. Head in here, find our first floor location. And here we have our trusty installer, Kenny. Basically measuring floor to ceiling to verify what we've been given as installers and what the factory's been sent for their measurements for the elevator. So, Kenny, what do you have there? Yeah, 95 and a half. Okay, now is that to the crown molding or to the, that's to the, the ceiling? ceiling? That's actual to the ceiling. Okay, so that's... So, so we're a total of eight foot of framing. Okay, perfect. I'll run upstairs real quick. Check the upstairs measurements. And up here, we've got Mr. Rusty yes. making his measurements and... What do we got up here from our, our floor to our ceiling? 95 and a half. Okay, 95 and a half. All right, we'll use that later to cross check. Um, so the other thing we want to do is we want to find a common reference wall, which we have this exterior wall here. And we're going to pull and verify our width dimensions so we can get our layout matched up on both floors. At uh, 11 feet, nine and a half inches. Okay, so from that exterior wall over here, here's our measurements. Right about 140 and a half. Okay, so now we'll go back downstairs. We'll cross check that with Kenny. Okay, Kenny, so we've had 140 and a half to okay. the inside of the drywall upstairs. So we're measuring off that same common wall here, the exterior right. front wall. Our, our measurements just at 14 foot. So okay. obviously we are about uh, two foot and three inches off. Okay, two foot two. So we're right here. So now we know that we have to keep that elevator this way out of that corner, at least that 27 inches. Um, probably a little bit more for space between the wall, but that's uh, the basic process we want to go through to verify our measurements. Thank you, Kenny. Okay, so we've got our area prepped downstairs. Everything walled off, plastic up, floor covering down, except for a little piece right there on the hardwood we got to get, but. Everything else, it's been covered. You're live. I am uh, marking out the footprint uh, of the backside of the unit to find my center to go ahead and drill down and make those measurements as well. I am holding the interior of my tape uh, five inches off of the wall. Therefore, it makes it easier for the customer to clean and it, it, it's easier to assemble that way as well. Um, so as of right now, I'm just, uh, I found my center point of where I'm going to, uh, uh, where my elevator is going to land. So I'm just measuring all five inches. And the reason I'm coming all five inches is just because I have crown molding down there and I just want to make sure I'm as close as I can. Um, and once I cut the open, the drywall downstairs, um, I'll be able to determine exactly 100% my center. So, but this will give us 99% where we're going. And so we'll just leave this in the floor just so we know where we're coming and uh, go downstairs and draw our uh, our footprint on our drywall. Okay, so we're downstairs. Now I had to make a second hole. Um, this hole I made when I first got here just to determine how uh, tall my joists was to know how what lumber I needed for that. Um, so this hole is nothing to the drill bit of where I'm drilling at now. So I came five, five inches off the wall and I drilled down and it did not puncture through the drywall. It was behind the crown molding. Um, so as of right now, I am seven and a quarter inches off of the drywall, uh, but now it comes out down here at about three inches. So therefore we're about three and three quarters inches of an offset. So this wall sticks in further than upstairs. So we're going to have to, um, once we're, we're going to have to build, extend the wall upstairs three and a half inches. To make it plain out down here. Yes. Uh, just so... Uh, the, the, uh, the second floor and the first floor are parallel to each other and uh, we have a smooth wall to set a rail on. <laughs> 